guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Angie. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys um, makeup stuff that I have in my makeup tray. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys palettes and products that I usually wear all the time and products I don't really use all the time and just um, a bunch of random things um, for this video. Um, I'm going to also show you like, you know, the brushes I use whenever I'm doing makeup and where I got my makeup um, from, the stores in general. Um, and just tell you like a little bit about um, my favorite products and you know other things that you want to know and if you are somebody that enjoys um, watching people on YouTube who do makeup tutorials or who, what what makeup products they use and things where they bought their makeup from um, this video is definitely for you although I won't be putting on makeup today um, just not one of those days but I just wanted to show you guys like you know what I have in my makeup tray. So um, if you're interested, stay tuned and watch this video. Okay, so I'm gonna actually show you what my tray looks like. So it looks like this, it's very heavy. <laughs> but um, as you can tell, I have a ton load of products here. So um, um, yeah, I do use makeup pretty often. Um, I know during um, this pandemic, I really wasn't um, wearing a lot of makeup, especially um, to work when you know, I was going to work and I'm still in work now, but I barely put on any makeup. But if I'm going out to do something or just if I feel like, you know, putting on makeup today, then I'll go ahead and wear makeup. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that, like this is my gigantic, ginormous, pile full of makeup. So yeah, um, I'm going to get started with um, probably like, you know, how I started um, the products that I use like with foundation, then highlighter, then, or actually not highlighter, um, concealer, highlighter, powder, all that stuff, and then go from the eyebrows, eyes, to lips. Okay, so we're gonna start with our um, foundation that I use, and it's Kat Von D's um, foundation. So um, I really like this. I think it blends really well with my face. I'm not wearing it right now, but I am wearing her powder. So yeah, this is in medium, yeah, medium mark. Hopefully I'll be able to flip this um, camera when I'm editing so that you can see like <laughs> the words not, uh, the words that are not backwards. But yeah, so um, I really love this and I love anything Cap on D. So um, this is one of my favorites and favorites that I've used um, out of all foundations that I've used. So um, yeah, I love this. Um, then next I put on concealer and the concealer that I use is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in sand and it's really pretty so um, it's a very like light color definitely like, can add like some highlight. I actually am wearing um, a little bit of some right now but um, yeah I really love this. Sometimes I'll just put like powder and concealer on and then I'm good instead of like putting on so much caked up makeup and but yeah, I'm just like, um, I'm a more of a concealer person than a whole foundation person, if I'm being completely honest. So yeah. Um, the next product I use after concealer, so, um, oh, I forgot to mention that I do, oops, sorry, that was loud. <laughs> um, the sponges that I use, or brushes that I use for my foundation concealer, um, and mind you, they're, they're dirty, sorry about that, um, but I always use this for a foundation because it blends so well in my face. And then I use this for like my concealer. So I either use the pointy side or the flat side. I mostly use the flat side for especially the chin area. And then I use the pointy area like if I'm doing it like underneath my eyes where the bags are. So yeah, those are the sponges I use. Um, the next product I use after wearing my concealer is um, the setting powder. Um, I was actually introduced to this when I went to Sephora one time and it's by Fenty Beauty, which is Rihanna's makeup brand. And so if you open it up, I've been using it <laughs> quite a lot in the past two years. So yeah, that's um, what it looks like. Um, and it actually does not, I know that it showed that, um, that it's a white powder, but I promise you it does not make your face white at all. There's no like, you know, powder on you or anything like that. It actually just is like a clear kind of, um, face powder that you barely can see anything and I actually like to put it underneath my eyes and I use this very small little blender so I'll just go in and I would like just do that so yeah 
that's all you need. Um, sometimes um, I'll get like a powder brush and then I'll just like put it on all over my face really quickly after that, just to set the concealer and the foundation. So yeah. yeah. So the next products I use after that are um, my, <laughs> the next products I use after that are my, my coffee. Ooh, goodness, I am making so much noise. <laughs> um, I use, oh my goodness. Sorry guys. <laughs> I I contour after this and I put on highlighter. So um, I actually just recently got this for Christmas and once again, it's another Kat Von D product. Another one. And it's one that I've been wanting to um, get for such a long time. Before I was using, um, for contour palette, but like in um, one shade only. This one has multiple shades, so I will show you what it looks like. Look at that, so beautiful. Um, I normally usually use either this side or that side. And the, um, this is called Lyric and Shadow Play, and the other one is called Levitation and Subconscious. And then if you're curious to know, this is called Lucid and Sombre. But yeah, it's so pretty, and like you could use this like on any kind of skin tone. Sometimes I'll um, I'll contour my friends' face, and because like you know we're all we all have different like you know skin colors, um, any one of these can match really well with their face. So yeah, I love this so much. It's like my baby right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I highly recommend this, especially if like you know you want to um, experiment with different colors of contour, and um, you know see what works well with your face. So yeah. Um, next, and then next I highlight, um, now I never used to be a highlighter person, but once I went to Sephora, I was turned on by it because it looked so pretty and it gives you that kind of like glow that, you know, that adds like a little oomph to your face and, you know, kind of gives you like, um, makes you feel like a star in some sort of way, but yeah. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It, um, so the powder actually broke it, um, broken. It broke, so I have to be very careful when I open this, but I still love to use it. See, look, it's all crumpled right there, but it's really pretty. This is in, um, this is by, this is by Becca. Um, yeah, so this is, um, called Prosecco Pop. It's really pretty, so it adds, like, a cool, like, um, little shine right here, especially if you put it, like, all in here. It's like, ah. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I was just being weird for now, but I love it so much. And I also like to put it like on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my chin, but yeah. So I recommend anybody to use highlighter. Don't be afraid of it because I know people are afraid of putting too much and they're like, oh my gosh, I have a sparkly face and now I'm going to look like, um, I'm going to look like an alien, but no, you're going to look awesome. Just play around with it. Who knows? Okay. The next products I'm going to show are... Um, oh, and one thing I actually forgot, so I didn't show you um, the brushes that I also use for my contouring and my highlighter, but I tend to use um, an angled brush for the dark part. So I'll go in and I'll just go like that. Same thing under the chin and on the forehead. And then for my, um, the highlighter part of the contouring, um, I use this kind of brush. So it's actually a foundation brush, but or it's a highlighter brush, but I tend to use it for, um, you know, just under here to give that little um, edge to it as well. It kind of gives you like a shadow underneath, um, especially the dark part. So that's what I use and I put it on the bridge of my nose as well. So now the next part we're gonna go on to is um, the products I use for my eyebrows. Or no, the next one I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna show you guys makeup I use for my eyebrows, my eyelashes, my eyes, my eyelids, and my lips. So the next ones I'm going to show you are, let's see, which one do I want to show? Do I want to show that on mascara? Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry if I'm making so much noise. Okay, so I use NYX just from like drugstores um, for my eyebrows. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is a brush so that you can like brush it, uh, comb out your eyebrows. And then you fill in your eyebrows with this. So actually you fill them in and then you, you brush it out. 
So I like this. I think it's just something like simple and cool. And I mean, it works really well with my eyebrows. So yeah. And then here we are with another Kat Von D product, which is another one. Just her um, Go Hard or Go Home uh, mascara. I love this mascara. It's, it definitely make, gives you like your um, eyelashes a lot of volume. It definitely works. So I highly recommend this if um, you're interested in any any a mascara that has um, that has like you know a lot of um, what am I even saying? I highly recommend this to anybody who likes a lot of volume on their eyelashes. So yeah. And you get it at Sephora, obviously. <laughs> um, and then for my my eyelids or um, eyeliner. Um, oh, I forgot to mention one thing. And then I also use um, this mascara sometimes, especially if I'm traveling. It's the milk makeup kind of um, yeah, the milk makeup mascara. Uh, I just got this as a product from a friend. Or, I got this as a gift from a friend, and um, it's really cute. I like it, it works. I don't use it all the time, but yeah. Um, and then now for my eyeliner, um, I use another one of Kat Von D's products. Another one. So, I think you can tell by this video, I'm already like, I'm a Kat Von D makeup snob. <laughs> but yeah, so I use her Tattoo Ink collection of eyeliner. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just, it's a really cool like pointy thing, especially if you're into doing the cat eye. I'm not really good at it yet, but I like to like, it gives you like a really sharp like kind of line and it looks good. So I like it. So once again, it's called the Ink Liner from Kat Von D and this is in Proof Black. I think it's called, oh, Trooper Black. I'm so sorry. So yeah, that's my eyeliner. And now we're going on to my favorite um, makeup products, which is eyeshadow. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use for eyeshadow. I use a lot of palettes, so. That's why my palette, my makeup tray was so heavy because it's so full of eyeshadows. So I'll show you the ones that I you know, normally use. Oh, sorry for the noise. Um, that was a little loud. Okay, so. Start from the smallest to the biggest. Um, so I actually just got this on uh, Black Friday and it's the Naked 2 Basics. I'll show you what it looks like. And mind you, I got all these at Sephora except minus one. But yeah, oh, look at that. So pretty. See, it's just like basic colors from dark to light. And this is good, especially if you don't wanna put on like, you know, um, different kind of colors. Like if you're looking for like a natural look, Highly recommend this one. So I usually go to this for a natural makeup look. And then I'm in love with this one and I got this on sale at, on Black Friday as well. But you are gonna be amazed on how pretty these, um, these colors are. And this is from NARS. And I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you. Give me a minute and look at how pretty that is. Look at all those colors. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Like, I usually like to um, use, like, the golds. The purple ones are so pretty, too. So, I'm just I'm obsessed with this. Especially, this is, like, um, a, a nice palette to use. Like, if, especially for the holidays. Oh, like, I I got to actually, um, I actually used this on Christmas. Even though I was home all day. So, you know, I want it to be a little bit festive. So, this was my go-to palette on the holidays. So, yeah, that is from NARS. And then you get this at Sephora, obviously. And then, um, I also love the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow palettes. This is in, um, this is the um, Naked One palette. Um, I love the colors too. So it's like got a lot of toastiness. It's got a lot of dark metallics. It's got some shine to them. Natural colors as well. So um, a little bit about me, I am a, more of a natural like color kind of girl. I don't really like to go for like the blues and the greens and the um, the bright reds and the bright colors. I'm just more of like a subtle like nude dark colored person um, Never really was a big fan of like big colors, but you know, this is like my good. This is like matches my personality in some sort of way <laughs> Okay, so the next one is the naked three. I've had this for about 
six years now. Um, six years? Yeah. Almost seven years. Yeah. But it still runs well. And you can tell I've used this a lot because so much has been used. And I'm actually missing one. But it's probably a color that I didn't really use very often. But it's so pretty. The pinks are gorgeous. And um, I really like the last, like, four, especially the purple ones. So those are really cool. Um, I don't really use this as much as I used to. But especially if I'm, like, you know going for a natural look, then sometimes it's my go-to, but I still like it. Now this one was from Target and I got this as a Christmas gift like way, way, way back in the day. But I still use it and like again, it's a natural color kind of palette, but I like the browns, the toastiness once again, and um, you know, the lightness that you can just experiment with. It's really cool to experiment like light with dark, so. Um, this is something I use and then if you see on the back it can tell you like you know which one of the eyeshadows to use to like create kind of like a smoky look or just a natural look so I like that <laughs> oh and then for my brushes um, I just use like a different variety of brushes but um, you know this is where I keep like all my eyeshadow brushes um, except for this one this one's supposed to go in another um, <laughs> cup but um, well, I should show you that anyway but um, Yikes. <laughs> but yeah, these are the two, um, I have like two little, um, two little like cups full of my eyeshadow brushes that I use. So the big ones go in this one and the little ones like for the eyes always go in this. So look at all that. <laughs> so yeah, my powder ones, my contouring all go in here. Everything else goes in here, but I use like so much of a variety of these that it's like, um, that I'm able to like not not ever go to a store and say like oh my god what brush do I need for my eyes but because it's all here I'm all set <laughs> so yeah um so yeah the next part I'm going on is um, um my lipsticks and my lip glosses so I'm going to show you what I use so here are once again Kat Von D lipsticks. And another one. Not a surprise, guys. Um, so I'll show you um, one of my favorites. Um, this is Lolita. This is one that I use a majority of the time. It's so pretty. Like, it's like a natural kind of red look. So it's not like red lipstick, but it's like, yeah. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can tell, but I think if I put it on my hand, you'll see a better, like, idea. See that? Really pretty. Oh, and because I've used this so much, there's already like a little crack in it that you can't really see. Um, and then next, I like to use Lolita 2. This is actually has more of like an orange tint in it. So um, I like to use this every once in a while. It's not really like my absolute favorite lipstick, but if I'm feeling kind of like festive or a little bit out of my comfort zone then I'll go for this one but it's a really pretty color I'll show you what it looks like on my hand so yeah there you go you guys can see it yeah see said that there was an orange in it there's like a little bit of orange um the next one I use often is the one that's called um sanctuary it's got like a purple gray color and this is like really cool like for winter time so this is actually the color that I mostly wear during winter check it out so I'm going to show you on my hand what it looks like so there you go right there so yeah and now um this one's called Hawkwind it's a brown color like a brown kind of like purplish color and I love to wear this during fall and I think it's a really pretty like dark color, especially if you kind of want to go for like a natural look. So I'm gonna show you on my hands. Look at that, gorgeous, huh? Whoops, yeah. And then next is um, one that I use um, for fall only. Um, sometimes I can be pretty bold in wearing this color but um, I don't really like to wear it um, all the time. But this is called Exorcism, and it's a very deep 
almost like blood red color. So if you're feeling like being a vampire for one day, or if you're gonna be a vampire for Halloween, I highly recommend like this lipstick to go with your costume. So here is the color, um, Exorcism. Pretty cool, huh? So those are all my um, lipstick swatches that I mostly use um, for my lips from Kat Von D. So shout out to her for being so awesome with these lipstick palettes, not lipstick palettes, but these lipsticks, because they are amazing. They're liquid lipsticks, so that's why I like them a lot. And um, other lipsticks I usually use are um, the NARS. I just got this for Christmas from a gift from a friend, and it's like in a purple gray color. It's really pretty. It's called Raw Love, so kind of gives you like a natural look, almost like a Tim Burton vibe look. If you want kind of like almost pale lips but with color in it so I think that's a cool look or a cool lipstick color and then I don't normally wear this all the time but I sometimes like to put it on for like if I need something like real quick like now <laughs> it's from milk and it's um, used for your cheeks and for your um, lips so it's a lip and cheek kind of um, um, product and it's called Work. So it's milk. It's from Sephora. Um, yeah. So those are mostly what I use for my lips. And once I'm done with my makeup, I also like to set off my, um, I like to set it off with some foundation. I mean, not foundation spray. I like to set it off with um, some setting spray. And I use Kat Von D once again. So there it is. It's called the Locket. Um, the Locket um, setting spray and um, they have it in like bigger sizes and small sizes but because like I don't really need the big size right now I always get like you know the small ones so yeah and that pretty much concludes that pretty much concludes um what's in my makeup tray so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you um saw like all the great products that I use I highly recommend any of these if you're interested in trying them. Sephora always has the hookup. Um, that's mostly where I've pretty much I've gotten all my makeup and drugstores will have some good products too but um, you know if you are interested in these I would you know try them out and I hope you guys give this a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!